Hello everyone. Uh, we're only a few days away now from reopening and we are really looking forward to welcoming everybody back. We'll be welcoming the junior infants in on Wednesday. Um, we will be welcoming all other pupils in on Thursday. I'm just going to follow up uh, on our previous video with some uh, questions and answers and clarifications, uh, which I just to clarify different things uh, that have arisen uh, since the video. So uh, more than ever, we encourage you to cycle and walk to school. Uh, it's a great way to keep fit and get some steps in in the morning. If you come in the main gate, please keep uh, to the right and walk between the clubhouse and the pitch. If you come in the tennis club gate, please keep to the left. Cyclists and walkers make their way up the avenue and straight into their classrooms. So just to, just to summarize uh, the car park again, um, that arrivals um, between 8.50 a.m. and 9.10 a.m. Now, if you arrive before this time, stay in your car until supervision begins at 8.50. All cars drive in the tennis club gate. For drop and go, come to the island. Uh, children should be ready to get out of the car quickly and they will walk independently up the avenue and straight into their classrooms. Park and walk uh, come in the tennis court gate also and proceed to park at the town end of the car park. Walk between the clubhouse and the pitch up the avenue and straight into your classroom. And just a reminder again, it's children only past the green. So uh, we're following government guidelines on, on everything that we do and uh, the guidelines state that face coverings are not suitable for children under the age of 13. Now for adults wearing a face covering in public may reduce the spread of COVID-19 in our community. I'm sure everyone agrees we must do everything we can to avoid, avoid the virus coming into the school in the first place. Uh, as the area around the school will be busy and keeping two metres apart uh, from the people you meet may be difficult, I encourage all adults to wear face coverings and avoid shaking hands when greeting each other. Uh, all staff members have completed Department of Education uh, training and LMETB training and we are fully compliant with return to work protocols. So if a pupil experiences the symptoms of COVID-19 during the school day, a member of staff will accompany the pupil directly to our isolation area. The pupil will be given a disposable mask to wear and we will immediately contact parents. Uh, you must self-isolate and contact your GP who will arrange a test if appropriate. Follow your GP's advice here. The school will be available to provide advice and assistance if contacted by the HSC. It's the HSE who carry out contact tracing. We clean down the pod and the isolation area immediately, and we clean down the classroom at the end of the day. If you have traveled abroad, follow the advice of the Department of Foreign Affairs. By sending your child to school, you are confirming protocols around isolation periods were observed. There are no recommendations in the public health advice to suggest an increased risk in wearing uniforms. The department has not issued any guidance on the wearing of school uniforms in a COVID-19 environment and normal washing and hygiene arrangements should apply to uniforms. Teachers will tell pupils and, and communicate to families which days are uniform days and which days are tracksuit days when we come back to school. Pupils will keep their pencil case along with their personal resources in school. So pupils will have a school pencil case and a home pencil case. As far as possible, children will remain in the same pod until midterm and full term breaks. On yard, children are free to play with anyone in their class or their bubble grouping. Break would be 15 minutes long. The children will have lots more space as there are only three classes on yard at a time. Each class will have its own uh, generous uh, zone to play in. 
and we will be recommended that children should try to keep lots of space between each other on yard. So to contact the school, please email us on ardrecns at lmetb.ie or call ahead on 087 We will try to deal remotely with as many inquiries as we can. If you need to come to school for a meeting, we will direct you to fill in an on-site access request, which is available on our website. And we'll advise you on that process uh, when it arises. You, yeah. Now, Ninarka Kerla Kayla, there is strength and unity. I think you will appreciate it is not possible to guarantee a COVID free school, but we are certainly making it as safe as we can. We will be relying heavily on you, our community, to adhere to NEFIT guidelines. In sending your child to school, you are confirming that they are well and do not have any of the symptoms of COVID. Once more, we are looking forward to seeing you all next week and um, Gurumina Mahagath.